What we need from this thing is to produce electrons that move in vacuum with no wires. The cathode ray tube contains a vacuum tube. Inside this vacuum tube is a highly negative cathode and a highly positive anode. They are separated by vacuum. They are connected to a high voltage DC supply, about 600 volts. If the cathode is heated, electrons of the metal atoms are excited and move a little away from their nuclei and immediately go back. So when the DC supply is switched on, the negative electrons are repelled from the negative cathode and attracted to the positive anode, flying in vacuum with no wires. This is how we can get a beam of electrons in vacuum. The cathode ray tube you may be asked to draw a simple diagram for the apparatus. First, we will draw the vacuum tube. This is the highly negative cathode that will emit electrons. Opposite to the cathode, we draw the anode which is highly positive. The cathode and the anode are connected to a high voltage DC supply. And finally, do not forget to draw the heater or the filament that will heat up the cathode. These are the apparatus, but what is the story? What do we want from these apparatus? All what we need is to get a beam of electrons between the cathode and the anode with no conducting materials. We can say, to make electrons travel in a beam out of a metal conductor. The first idea they thought about is to use a very high voltage DC supply, nearly 600 volts. Its negative pole is connected to the cathode, and its positive is connected to the anode. But it didn't work. So we can say, number one, high DC voltage is not enough. After that, they thought about using vacuum to avoid electrons being stopped by air molecules. So they put the anode and the cathode in a perfectly closed vacuum tube. But even the use of high voltage and vacuum the trial failed. The third idea they thought about is to add a heater to heat the cathode. This will cause what they call later thermionic emission. During thermionic emission, electrons are released a little from the surface of the heated metallic cathode. If the high voltage DC supply is now connected, in the presence of the vacuum and the heated cathode, electrons are completely released from the cathode attracted and accelerated towards the anode. Now we got a beam of electrons moving in vacuum out of the conducting material.